Yo, what's good? It's the Inglewood Hero, Sean Christopher, and you tune in to HipHopAndLunch.com. It's Hip Hop at Lunch. We're here with Sean Christopher. How's yes, it going, sir. man? Going good, man. Going well. <laughs> Definitely up here in New York, man. Yeah. That's what's up. So last time you were up here, I saw you got up with Jabari and shot a video. Like, yeah. I just wanted to know, like, what's it like working with him? He's definitely doing big oh, shit right now. Jabari is like my brother, man. Like, uh, we met, like, almost two years ago. And we just been, like, working on all kind of constant projects, keeping each other in the loop of everything. And uh, I sent him this record because I'm working on my project, uh, You and Only You, which is going to drop December 7th. And uh, I sent him this record called Hangover. And he instantly hit me back, like, yo. I got a treatment, I got a video, let's do it. And I was already coming out here, this is about two weeks ago, I was already coming out here anyway for a day or two. So we just shot this video, ran around the city. It's like, I showed a video to a bunch of people like just to get their take on it. And it's like, yo, this video is gonna cause some craziness, in, especially in my career. So I'm, I'm ready to, to drop that. So we're just waiting on the powers that be to get a, get a green light and we're gonna go ahead and drop that shit. It's gonna be crazy. That's what's up, man. I definitely cannot wait to see that. <laughs> So I know you're on this couch tour hitting all these cities, man. Yeah. Like, is the couch crowd more receptive? Like, what you finding out with that? Man, it's just, uh, you know, I, I think that me personally, I do so many different types of records that, like, I can do a, a club setting in the hood and then I can go to the college crowd and do do these particular type of records too. So with this college tour, it, it's kind of giving me a, a nice uh, barometer on, like, what songs hit certain places. And so... You know, we, we've been doing shows, bring out a couple thousand kids at different venues at different out, outside festival type settings. And it's, it's just been amazing. We're like, we're still in the middle of it. We still got like two or three weeks more to go on this tour. So, but so far, man, the love has been amazing. So I saw you visited uh, Tree Sounds recently. Yeah. Shout out to Groove Chambers, man. Yeah, Groove was good, man. <laughs> Tree Sound, yeah. Is I it love. really like crazy like that? All Dude. the videos, it like, seems like there's rappers popping out of the fridge Dude, and Tree sleeping Sound on the couch. It's crazy. <laughs> It's, it's one of the best studios I've ever been in. And shout out to Groove. Groove let me use his room. And I, <laughs> and I, I recorded four, four tracks off my You and Only You project in Groove's room at Tree Sound. And, yo, it's crazy. Like, the studio set up, they got a, a stage in the back for, for performances. And then they have a huge kitchen. Like, it's like a house. That's what's up, man. And, uh... The song, All the Other Kids, is one of my personal favorites from all oh, your new tracks. You. I wanted to know about the sample, like, yeah. how did it all come about? Um, but, uh, a friend of mine sent me this record, like, yo, listen to this, I think this is dope. And it was from this band called Foster for the People. And I listened to it, and I was like, yo, I was like, this chorus is so big. And I was just in my room one night, and I was like, yo, I'm going to start adding drums to it. And I started, I started adding drums, I like chopped up the sample, added some drums to it and just recorded this song and I sent it to people and like I sent it to one of my best friends and he made it his ringtone like <laughs> like in 30 seconds like yo I need to make it a ringtone and so I get a lot of love off that song too we're shooting a video for that in the very very near future uh, that's also going to be on my project as well because um, when me doing this college tour and me doing this, this radio run for my other single Catch Me If You Can a lot of people are going to be hearing me for the first time so I thought it was important for all the other kids to be on my project because I think that song hasn't reached its peak yet. I think a lot, millions and millions and more people need to hear that song, so I had to throw it on my project this time around. Definitely, man. Yeah. Show the side of your personality that people could relate to. Yeah. Just like your blog, I wanted to talk about the blog, man. Like, I see a lot of interesting stuff on there, funny stuff, stuff yeah. about you. I saw you talking about Rick Ross's chain on the Nike commercial. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> a chain of him wearing a chain. That's, kinda, that's crazy. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah, blogging is super important. It's really, really important. And uh, I actually have my friend, one of my really good friends, Kurt, he actually helps me out with, with the post a lot. Like when I'm when I'm like in a place where there's no Wi Fi, I'm on a plane or something like that. Like my friend Kurt logs on and like puts up really, really dope videos. So shout out to my boy Kurt. Like he's 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 holding my blog down whenever I don't have the time. But I, I get a lot of love off my blog because I, I really you know, I don't just wanna make it just about me and I don't wanna make it like, you know, post a bunch of art stuff. People are like, Oh, it's like Kanye's blog but I just like to put videos that I think are funny videos that I think are interesting and um, you know people really love it. They are pretty funny and interesting. <laughs> I've been checking it out so before we go I wanted to talk about the sophomore album. You yeah. just named it like coming out in December You and Only You. Yeah. Uh, like where are you going with the album? Uh, I think that with the with this album since the last time I dropped um, A City With No Seasons I've gone through a lot and you know I've gone through a lot you know with women or I've gone through a lot with just like my career it's so much further ahead than it was when I talked to my last project, so I've seen different things. I've 
I've done different things. I've shopped in different places and, and been in different cities. So my, my, my art has matured. And so I just really want to give people a, it's a look into what, I, what I've been through this past year and a half and where I've been and how I've been able to help my family now. I've, I've been able to like make my mom you know, rest easier in her situation and make my family a little more proud of me. And so I'm throwing all that into, into this project, and it's, it's insane. I was actually listening to it this morning, like really like seeing where I can make some seamless transitions and everything like that. But the project is, is amazing. It's, it's amazing. I think this is going to be that project that's going to, you know, everyone who's already listening to me is going to be like, are you just now listening to Sean? I've been <laughs> listening to him. I'm thinking, but this is that part that everyone's going to be listening to for a while. So, I mean, we already got three videos in the can just waiting you know, for the for the right time, but it's it's gonna be amazing, man.